Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's lesson comes to us from Lori Manungan, CZT, and it's called Conk. And it is a darling little easy tangle. And I, I like it because um, it kind of starts out with a little fescue, which is one of my go-to tangles. And it can be just fill in a space with it. Come, and I've done a little mono tangle here, and I'm just going to show you how it's done. And I'm going to use a little round black tile, and um, and I'm going to use a Jelly Roll 05. I have a Jelly Roll um, 08 and an 05, and I'm going to start with the 05. And we just start out. So I only need one of these, so. I'm going to start out with what I call like the little fescue. And for me that's the little fescue. It's kind of a bit, and then I don't do a round ball. I do kind of an oblong ball on it. That's just how I do it. And, um, and then we're going to Do a little ball that comes around like that. And another one. Another one. And I think I can get four. And they kind of just uh, nestle into each other. So they're like orbs or little round peas that are stuck close together. Now, I could just fill this in with my 05 right in here. Whiten that in. I almost said blacken it in, but we don't blacken if we're doing on white. So we're just going to, or you could change and use your 08 if you've got that. And then we're just going to do just a little arc up over the top. And I think I can get four of them on there. And then we're going to do that same little circle in every one that was. So I'm going to start with a little orb and then another little orb and it comes in and it touches. So they look like they're overlapping. When I looked at Lori's step outs, I, I thought, are they, are they round? Are they just lines? I wasn't sure, but I think you could do about anything you wanted. But I, after I studied it for a little bit, I decided that they were just little orbs that kind of work themselves in. I'm going to come in a little closer so you can see that. I should have come in a little closer. So you can kind of see they overlap each other. And in between these little spaces, I'm going to make it white. If you were doing this on a white tile, you would blacken in those spaces behind with your pen. Isn't that just simple? Now we're going to do a little shading on this. So I'm going to use my um, general charcoal white pencil and I'm just going to put a little bit of chalk on the black and I'm going to do it on both of those ends and then right across the top of all of those. And then I'm going to take my shading stump that I've used for white and Molly Hollybuss, she marks hers with a W or a, um, a B for black but I just clean mine with a emery board and then I don't have to worry about it. And then we're just going to smooth out that chalk. So there we have conch. And it always looks a little different on camera than what it does. I think the lights pick it up good. But you could add to this. I'm going to pick up my 05 again. And we could add... Some more little fescues. J 
just coming up out of it. About ran off the camera there. And I just love the little fescue. So you could add that. Another thing I love in my class that I teach at, at the library will tell you that I love orbs. So we could just go in and put a few orbs in the background. I would just fill it in with orbs. I love this one. Let me scan back out so you can see. And I've done it on a little bijou tile, a couple of them, and then a big one on a black tile. Oh, I just think it's fun. Conk by Lori Manigun and it is a great tangle. I think you'll enjoy doing it on black, on white and color it in. It's just a beautiful little tangle. And here I, I did some um, background work where I did a little checkerboard in the back. You can just really add your basic tangles to this. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. New um, patterns Tangle patterns on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And remember, when you tangle every day, your brain thanks you. Thanks again, and have a great day.